me being new, me being different, me being a woman, in a male-dominated industry is difficult. If you're doing a job the same skill as someone else is, you being a woman and being able to bear children shouldn't be something as an obstacle. This is for so much more than me. Peoria is tough. Peoria is unforgiving. But me, I love Peoria. This is my community. I grew up here. I'm born and raised here. My father was a Caterpillar man, so I grew up in a union atmosphere. He taught us you can have a lot more with your insurance, the benefits of having a package behind you, a career behind you. That all played a big part in me growing up. And I wanted that not just for myself, but for my kids as well. It was a shock having my daughter. I had to leave college, I was at Ole Miss, and so I had to come back and get on public assistance. And that was something I was not used to, never been on it. And just sharing all my personal information seemed so violating to me. And I didn't care for it. And so I was a licensed cosmetologist. I worked at a spa and salon. It was one of the best trades I could have did. But financially, it couldn't support me with three kids sitting in Peoria. And actually, uh, I got fired from that job. And it was the best day of my life. <laughs> it was the best day of my life. I say that because uh, it made my eyes open up to a different avenue. So I walked into uh, my, taking my daughter to daycare. I walked in, taking her in, dropped her off and sent the pamphlet, and it said HCCTP, Highway Career Construction Training Program. I sent the woman on there, just standing. Like, what is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> she looks strong, she looks empowered, she looks like she's independent. Seeing some empowerment or strength from another woman catapulted me. And my thought just at the moment when I seen benefits, having three kids at that moment and seeing benefits, that was a light bulb for me. So I applied and uh, that was the best thing that happened for me, was taking and getting approved into that class and transitioning from being a cosmetologist to being a construction worker. Highway Career Construction Training Program is a gateway to the trades. It's a 12-week program and it's intense. You do welding certificates, forklift training, OSHA certificate, Whatever you need on a construction job site, you get it in that classroom. HCCTP is a card you can use, a certificate you can use. And you can walk up to someone and say, I have experience, 12 weeks worth of experience. And you can't deny me now, so let me go take this application. That's what I did. I purchased a hat. I purchased a shirt, I purchased tools, I purchased bags, because I already had in my mind, I'm going to be an iron worker. So when I got in here to do my application process, they were actually amazed that I already had a lot of things under my belt that most people don't have getting to the trades. Being a woman in the trades is so vital to this industry. You have to persevere. You have to endure. You have to let everyone know that you're here and you're not going anywhere. 
to get out there and work with these guys. As a woman, you have to prove yourself every day, like a hundred times more than a man has to. <laughs> but it's okay. I appreciate the challenge. And when you get in a group of iron workers that can put a building up in a day or a couple days, and you just keep coming back, and every day you see the structure getting larger and larger, and it's coming to life, you look back and say, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into that. For example, the Cedar Street Bridge in Peoria. I could ride across that bridge and every joint, all 27 of them, I put them in. So when we ride across, I tell my kids, you see that smooth ride? That was your mom. <laughs> so it's gratifying. I got accepted into the apprenticeship and I come home with my check. So yes, I skipped down to the public aid office happy and excited to give them back their card and tell them I have a job, I'm employed, I have benefits, and I don't need their benefits anymore. What my dad had instilled in me, I got it right back. You don't want to depend on anybody for anything. I can depend on myself. I lost Dion May 5th. I had to wait to actually let people know I lost my son. I didn't want to lose my job. I didn't want to lose the benefits. For that moment in time, I couldn't share it with nobody. I couldn't just walk up and say, hey, I lost my son, you know? Um, that was a lonely period for me. So we had a conference. This conference is the International Conference for the Women in the Trades. Probably like 300, 400 women there, just as iron workers. Uh, so we're all discussing our trials, our tribulations with work and our issues. And pregnancy came up. And a woman stated that she had to hire her pregnancy for eight months, you know, and then you want to keep your insurance. You know, you don't want to get pregnant and get kicked off a job site in three months. And it was honestly a particular individual. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Said something I just didn't care for. And I just stood up and spoke my truth. I spoke my experience. I spoke what happened because she was not in that room with me when I broke those bed rails. She wasn't in there when I just couldn't take no epidural. I just had to give birth to my son. And she wasn't there when I had enough nerve or oomph to get up and say I'm committed to my job. I love my job that much. I'm not going to lose it. I'm going to get back out here less than 48 hours. That happened on a Saturday night, and I'm back at work at 7 in the morning. In that moment, the trades were not keen to women being pregnant on the job sites. So you would hide it. And when you pressed with the issues of, do I provide for my children, or do I quit? Do I provide for my, my rent and my water and my bills? And if, or do I tell them I'm pregnant and lose everything? So I bless my son, Dion, you know? He helped out other women, I think there's four women right now that's currently using that maternity leave. You know, if you're doing a job the same skill as someone else is, you being a woman and being able to bear children shouldn't be something as an obstacle because you need women to have more iron workers. That's what I said. So <laughs> you, without birth, you won't have any more iron workers. So you got to keep this trend going. It's bittersweet for me because I don't have my son, but he's being a blessing to the world. I wear my dad's bracelet every day. I'm still dealing with it. But what he gave me, what he taught me, showed me, last a lifetime with me. And he instilled in me to um, always persevere. That's what I take with me every day to work, is that strength of believing in myself, 
knowing I can do it because of who I was taught by. I have to provide. So if I'm gone for 15 hours a day, I see myself as my father. I'm providing. If I'm at home and I'm able to be with you and my child, I'm being a mother. I'm giving you love, care, concern. If I'm on a job site, you see me as an iron worker. Don't see me as a black woman. I'm going to say this here. Don't see me as a black woman. See me as an iron worker. See me as a contractor. See me as a person that's willing to give to other people to help them succeed and grow to be the person they want to be. That's how I was raised to see myself. I'm Bridget. That's it.